Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Let's learn about accrual accounting. Okay, so you're a business or an accounting major and you have decided to become a businessman. Your big idea was a tutoring service. You thought that these college professors didn't do quite a good job, so you decided to show them how it is done and earn some money in the process. When you thought about the business, it came to your mind that you will need a couple of things to get it running. You have decided that you will need to hire a tutor. You're a businessman, not a worker, remember? You also needed to supply paper and pencils to the tutor so he can explain well. Finally, you found two customers that are interested in your services. Let's say that you have bought two packages of paper and two pencils. You have to record this transaction right away. You give your accountant the receipts and he records them. He tells you, you have bought supplies, which is an asset, so we will debit supplies and you have spent cash, so we will credit cash. On December 15, the first customer came in and she said that she will pay one month in advance. You have received the $50 cash and you gave this information to your accountant. The accountant tells you that since we have received cash, we have to debit it. But we did not earn revenue yet, since the girl didn't take any classes. Instead, we owe the girl tutoring for one month. So we credit unearned revenue, which is a liability. On December 31st, we need to close our financial statements. We have provided some tutoring to the girl about half of the classes. Your accountant tells you that we need to adjust the accounts. Now we have earned half of the unearned revenue, which means we do not owe the girl classes worth of $50 anymore, so we have to reduce the unearned revenue account for $25. Therefore, this is the journal entry. While the tutor was explaining to the girl, he has used one package of paper and one pencil. This means that we do not have $200 worth of supplies anymore. We have used half of them. Of course, your accountant tells you that we need to adjust the accounts. We have used half of the supplies, which is $100. Using up supplies means expensing them. It is not an asset anymore. Now it became an expense. We paid for it and we have used it. Therefore, we need to recognize an expense and reduce the amount of supplies to reflect the real amount that we have on hand. Let's revise. So far we were discussing prepaid expenses and unearned revenues. These are called deferrals. Our company either received cash for services in advance, services that we have to yet provide, or we pay cash in advance for supplies which we need to yet use. So we buy supplies and with time we defer or postpone the use of it. Or we collect payment in advance and with time we defer or postpone the earnings. Don't forget that we need to pay our tutor. No, 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 not so fast. We will pay him monthly. This means that he will have to work for one month and at the end of the month we will pay him for the job. When we make this deal on December 15th, we do not have to do anything in the accounting records. On December 31st, however, the accountant tells us that we need to close our books. The tutor has provided services for which we need to pay him $10, but we don't pay him yet. We will pay him on January 15th. For now, on December 31st, we just have to record that we have incurred an expense and we owe the tutor. Wage is payable. On December 15th, this boy said he's broke right now, but really needs our services. He said that he will pay monthly after the services are provided to him. That means he will need to pay everything on January 15th. We have agreed. Let's see what our, our accountant has to say about this. He says we don't need an accounting entry when we agree the terms on December 15th. However, on December 31st, we are closing the financial statements and we need to adjust the accounts. The boy received tutoring services in the amount of $25. That means the boy owes us, so we debit accounts receivable and we have earned revenue, so we credit revenue. Let's revise again. Imagine this is some kind of a timeline. The dollar bill is the time when cash is received or paid. You remember both of the examples. We have just discussed them. We agreed with the teacher to pay him monthly, which means we are accruing or piling up wages expense. This is accrued expense. We also agreed that the boy pay us monthly. This means that we are accruing or earning each day during that month. 
This is accrued revenues. Let's revise the entire lesson. We have accruals and deferrals. With deferrals, we pay or receive cash first, and then we defer or postpone the expense or the revenue. With accruals, we can simply put we are working for free and hope that customer will pay us, or we are using our employees for free until we pay them as agreed later. Thank you for watching. See you.